गाइस दिस सौरव है एंड वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन फॉर द जे स्प्रिंट टू पॉइंट आई एम वेरी वेरी सॉरी दैट माय अर्लियर सेशन गॉट कैंसल्ड आई हैड अ सीवियर लोअर बैक पेन एंड आई एम वेरी वेरी थैंकफुल टू यू गाइस फॉर योर लवली मैसेजेस एंड ऑल द रेसिपीज द होममेड वंस दैट यू हैड सजेस्टेड फॉर मी टू गेट वेल सून एंड दिस एक्चुअली इज वेरी वेरी इंस्पायरिंग एंड हेल्प्स अस टीचर्स ऑन दिस वर्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म टू बी इन लाइक सम वे कनेक्टेड टू यू गाइज सो today's session is the last session for the inorganic chemistry uh, part and in this session we would be discussing salt analysis metallurgy and <clears throat> a little bit of environmental chemistry now environmental chemistry is something which is pretty theoretical and i would always request you to please be thorough with ncert so that you can all remember those values ab likh ke usko ek jagah pe chipka lijiye so that आपके दिमाग में थोड़ा फीड रेड रहेगा बिकॉज एक सर्टन तरह के क्वेश्चंस हमेशा हर साल पूछे जा रहे हैं सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे सेशन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम एंड द फर्स्ट सेशन इज ऑन सॉल्ट एनालिसिस एंड इट इज दिस नाउ दिस इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस सेज प्रिंट बट आई एम टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन जस्ट सो टू मेक अ क्विक रिविजन ऑफ हाउ टू रिमेंबर आयोन्स वेन इट कम्स टू मेटल आयोन्स ऑफ द मेटल आयोन्स Uh, in salt analysis so the first question is which of the following ions are precipitated as their chlorides using dilute hcl a lot of people know the answer to this question but many a times a mistake happens when you compare hg22 plus and hg2 plus so it is important to know a very quick fun rule okay so the fun rule is this okay the fun rule is this the fun rule says that Laddu is friends with silver and mercury too. So what? Who is Laddu? Laddu is our Pb two plus lead or Laddu. Okay. Silver, Ag plus, and mercury too. The reason why I've written mercury too is to help you remember the fact that mercury appears as Ag two two plus and Ag two plus. So it can appear in these two forms. Ag two two plus. And Hg two plus. Now Hg two two plus is this mercury two. Okay, Hg two two plus is this mercury two. Hg two plus appears in group two. Okay, so that is how you remember this. They made white money by you by selling HCl. So HCl is your group reagent. Group reagent using which you will try to precipitate these uh, ions in the form of their chlorides. HCl तो क्लोराइड के फॉर्म में प्रेसिपिटेट करेगा एंड व्हाइट प्रेसिपिटेट वुड बी ऑप्टेन सो दिस द कलर ऑफ प्रेसिपिटेट सो ऑल विल गिव व्हाइट प्रेसिपिटेट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर प्रेसिपिटेटेड एज द क्लोराइड यूजिंग डाइल्यूट HCl द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन शुड बी Pb2+ Ag+ Hg22+ द राइट आंसर शुड बी A ओके वेरी इजी अ क्वेश्चन next the cation that will not be this the question came in je mains 2015 the cation will not be precipitated by h2s in presence of dilute hcl h2s in, in presence of dilute hcl is a group reagent for group 2 group reagent for group 2 now group reagent is a specific reagent which is utilized to precipitate a given type of ion okay it will give a precipitate of a, for sulfide when it comes to group 2 now group 2 is divided into two subgroups group 2a and 2b and there is a very very easy quirky way of remembering this okay so <clears throat> let's see what is the method to remember slightly lengthy but aapko samajh mein aa jayega ek do bar practice karoge to aa jayega मेथड so क्या है लड्डू भाई क्यू कार्ड होगा ओके सो लड्डू इज अगेन आर पीबी टू प्लस आई हैव अंडरलाइन बी एंड आई दैट रिप्रेजेंट बी आई बिस्मत इन थ्री प्लस ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट क्यू सी यू टू प्लस सी डी टू प्लस एन एच जी टू प्लस ओके दैट इज हाउ यू रिमेंबर यूजिंग द फर्स्ट लड्डू बाई क्यू कार्ड शो गैट इज हाउ यू रिमेंबर द आयोन्स नेक्स्ट देर आर समर आयोन्स एज वेल 
सनी वेटेड फ्रॉम टू टू फोर बट असलम एंड शबीर केम बिटवीन थ्री टू फाइव ना आई हैव अंडरलाइन सम अल्फाबेट्स लुक ओवर हियर एस एंड एन एस एन एस एन टू टू फोर रिप्रेजेंट द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इन विच टिन इज प्रेजेंट टिन इज प्रेजेंट इन प्लस टू ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एज वेल एज टिन इज प्रेजेंट इन प्लस फोर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट असलम एंड शब्बीर केम बिटवीन थ्री एंड फाइव सो डेट टेल्स एस एस थ्री प्लस इज प्रेजेंट ए एस प्लस फाइव इज प्रेजेंट एस बी थ्री प्लस इज प्रेजेंट एज वेल एज एस बी प्लस फाइव इज प्रेजेंट ठीक है ये हमारे बन गए आयोन्स कितने सारे आयोन्स है वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन इलेवन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आयोन्स आर प्रेजेंट इन ग्रुप टू एंड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दिस थिंग सो दैट यू डू नॉट एंड अप मेकिंग अ मिस्टेक All of them ate rotten eggs. Rotten eggs कहां से मिलता है स्मेल कहां से आती है एच टू एस इन डायलोट एच सी एल सो एच टू एस प्लस एच सी एल गिव द आइडिया दैट रॉटन एक्स यहां पर असलम एंड कार्ड स्टंड येलो असलम असलम वॉज ए एस थ्री प्लस ए एस प्लस फाइव कार्ड्स इज सी डी तो इनके प्रेसिपिटेट का कलर जो होगा इनके प्रेसिपिटेट जो बनेगा वो सल्फाइड बनेगा एंड इनके प्रेसिपिटेट का जो कलर होगा ए एस थ्री प्लस एंड एस थ्री प्लस एस फाइव प्लस एंड सी डी टू प्लस विल बी येलो इन कलर दीज सल्फाइड विल बी येलो इन कलर सनी टर्न येलो सनी टर्न ब्राउन टू सो सनी टर्न येलो दिस इज एस एन प्लस फोर एंड सनी टर्न ब्राउन टू वाई हैव रिटर्न टू ओवर हियर बिकॉज दिस रिप्रेजेंट एस एन टू प्लस ओके दिस रिप्रेजेंट एस एन टू प्लस क्यू लड्डू हो गए ब्लैक सो सी यू इज आर सी यू टू प्लस लड्डू इज पी बी टू प्लस एच जी एच जी टू प्लस ऑल ऑफ देयर सल्फाइड विल बी ब्लैक इन कलर शब्बीर कंप्लीटली टर्न ऑरेंज सो शब्बीर इज एस बी एस बी थ्री प्लस and sb plus 5 completely turned orange okay so that changes it to uh, a <clears throat> so sb3 as uh, sb with it in the form of its sulfide will completely convert into orange okay so what was the question the cation which not be precipitated by h2 is in presence of hcl What will be precipitated? As three plus will be precipitated. B, ये precipitate करेगा, ये करेगा, but ये नहीं करेगा, and that will be the right answer to the question. Okay, let's move ahead. <coughs> Next, the cations of group three A are precipitated in the following colors. किन तीनों तीन किन तीन colors में इन हम इनको precipitate करवाते हैं. All these precipitates are obtained in the form of hydroxides. Do please remember that group three A is precipitated as a hydroxide, and the group reagent for precipitating is NH4Cl plus NH4OH buffer. We use a buffer solution to precipitate this. Okay, let's not get into the discussion for now that why a buffer solution is used, why not a basic solution directly is used. But if a buffer solution is used, they are precipitated as the hydroxides. Now we need to know the colors. So again, a fun rule for you guys, so as to remember that the fun rule is this. Okay, so on one particular day I was like very uh, free, so I made these all rules, sat sat, and made them, so that the children will remember. सो आलू के साथ करेला फ्री फॉर थ्री डेज ओनली ठीक है आलू के साथ करेला फ्री मिलता नहीं है बट लेकिन ले, मान लेते हैं कि करेला फ्री मिल रहा है तो आलू में ये एल जो है दैट इज एल्यूमिनियम सी आर रिप्रेजेंट क्रोमियम एंड एफ एंड ई रिप्रेजेंट एफ ई फॉर थ्री डेज ओनली थ्री रिप्रेजेंट द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इन विच दीज आयोन आर प्रेजेंट सो एफ ई टू प्लस नहीं रहता है एफ ई टू प्लस को हम लोग पूरा डायलोट एच एन थ्री डाल के उसको एफ ई थ्री प्लस में कन्वर्ट कर देते हैं तो प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री में यह प्रेजेंट है ओके नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट गिव्स अस द कलर सफेद आलू सफेद मीन्स व्हाइट ओके फॉर ऑल नॉन हिंदी स्पीकिंग पीपल सफेद मीन्स व्हाइट सो दिस इज व्हाइट 
white gelatinous precipitate is of aluminium so al oh whole thrice will form a white gelatinous precipitate ke sath green karela so that means c r o h whole thrice precipitate will be green in color and free ka brown rice okay fe3 plus will generate a brown precipitate so our right answer to the previous question would be white green and brown white green and brown okay let's move on to the next question which of the following metal ions is most easily precipitated as sulfide in basic medium which of the metal ions is most easily precipitated as sulfide ions in basic medium if somebody has read this it's very nice group 3b or in some books it's written as group 4 is also known as a sul is also comprising of those cations which are precipitated as sulfides बट इन बेसिक मीडियम ग्रुप टू जो है वो सल्फाइड इन एसिडिक मीडियम में प्रेसिपेट होता है सो दीज ग्रुप थ्री बी वी आर सपोज टू लुक एट ग्रुप थ्री बी और इन सम केसेस ग्रुप फोर ग्रुप फोर का मतलब किसी किसी किताबों में इसको ग्रुप फोर में लिख देते हैं किसी किसी किताबों में इसको ग्रुप थ्री में बी में लिखा जाता है ओके सो हाउ डू वी रिमेंबर दिस ओके द मेथड इज दिस Let's say Nikhil is some friend of yours who is pissed off. किसी कारण पे आपसे नाराज हो गया है. So, but and he is like being a crybaby and like showing a lot of attitude. So, what you say is, okay, what you say is Nikhil को मनाना जरूरी नहीं. There is no need to make Nikhil happy. Okay, or Nik. Okay, so Nikhil, Ni two plus. CO, CO2 टू प्लस एम एन एम एन टू प्लस जरूरी नहीं सो मे द फर्स्ट एल्फाबेट दैट वी टेक जेड एन एन मेक इट जेड एन टू प्लस निखिल को मनाना जरूरी नहीं दो दिन बाद बात करेंगे दो दो रिप्रेजेंट टू ओके द दो रिप्रेजेंट द नंबर टू सो दिस रिप्रेजेंट द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इन विच ऑल ऑफ दीज आर प्रेजेंट सो that gives you an idea it is not co3 plus which is present or mn in any other oxidation state all of these ions are present in plus 2 oxidation state next nickel ko black or white zaruri nahi pasand aayega okay nickel ko black so all of them are precipitated as sulfides and how do we like make sense of what it be the color of sulfides so what we do is nickel and so ni2 plus and co2 plus will form a black colored sulfide they'll form a black colored sulfide zinc will form white colored sulfide manane ke liye bluff maar denge many a times you just pretend to say something just to make somebody happy okay i do it with uh, like when my wife gets gets angry i say something like and thoda sa khush ho jati hai theek hai okay so mn को हम लिख देंगे एम एन टू प्लस ब्लफ इज आई एम रिटर्न ब्लफ बट इट इज एक्चुअली बफ कलर्ड ओके सो एम एन सल्फाइड इज बफ कलर्ड मैंगनी सल्फाइड इज बफ कलर्ड दैट गिव्स यू द आइडिया अबाउट ग्रुप थ्री बी के टाइम्स ओके ग्रुप थ्री बी बोलते हैं फिर किन्नी किन्नी किताबों में इसको ग्रुप फोर करके लिख दिया जाता है तो जो ग्रुप फोर होगा उन किताबों में वो ग्रुप फाइव हो जाएगा ओके दैट्स इट सो A question was which of the following metal ions is most easily precipitated as sulfide in basic medium what will be the answer to this question kids very simple fe nahi hoga uh sulfide in basic medium co co2 plus zn2 plus these would not be the answer okay these would not be the answer is that clear so let's move on to the next slide and next slide is not about uh, any question it's about a quirky rule to remember the group 4 or in some books group 
cations okay so group 4 cations carbonate se bana safed kar sarhad ke par okay all these cations are precipitated as their carbonates that is the q that you would be taking from here all of these ions are precipitated as their carbonates the ions are ba2 plus ca2 plus sarhad sr2 plus all of these are present in group 4 and the color of the precipitates is white nature of precipitate okay so that gives you rules to remember all the cations that come in salt analysis okay kisi bhi tarah se question diya ja sakta please do remember this okay please do practice this talk with your friends probably jitna baat karoge in sab cheezon ke bare mein shayad wo aur easy ho jaye yaad karna okay let's move on to the next question the next question is on ellingham diagrams the correct statement regarding the ellingham diagram is now how to read ellingham diagrams remember that whatever is present at the bottom most position is the most capable reducing agent matlab wo kisi aur ko reduce kar sakta hai so jo jitna niche present hai wo utna acha reducing agent hai okay now agar hame is cheez ko analyze karni hai if we have to analyze this then what we will do is suppose i take an arbitrary temperature 500 degree celsius then at 500 degree celsius which will act as a better reducing agent aluminium so this line that you can see is for aluminium this is for zinc okay so at 500 degree celsius aluminium will reduce zinc but not the other way around okay fine so that is the important cue that you will have to take and that will be utilized in solving the question so let's take that first statement at 800 degree celsius cu can be used for extraction of zinc from zn o 800 degree celsius let's say this temperature is that 800 degree celsius at this temperature does cu is cu present below zinc no okay so this statement is incorrect okay the statement is incorrect it's not present below zinc there will there will be an equilibrium and aisa koi reaction ho hi nahi sakta it can not reduce it there will be an equilibrium next at 500 degree celsius at 500 degree celsius coke can be used to extract zinc from zno 500 degree celsius coke which is this this line which goes downward can be utilized to extract zinc from zno so 500 degree celsius zinc is over here coke is over here will this work no zinc is below this so if zinc can be used so how can coke reduce it so coke zno changes to zn that means this is acting as a reducing agent but it is not present below it at 500 degree celsius so we will not consider this as the right answer to the question next coke cannot be used for the extraction of cu from cu2o cu from cu2o okay cu from cu2o coke cannot be used cannot be used is it possible like coke is somewhere over here at all these temperatures and cu is somewhere over here so you can see that all the given temperatures like above like this particular temperature of let's say 100 degrees where these points just meet after that temperature all of the point all of the points at all the temperatures for coke the line is lower than that of copper so if it is lower it will be acting as a reducing agent so ye bhi galat hai. cannot be used nahi. At 1400 degree Celsius, aluminium can be used for extraction of zinc from ZNO. So 1400 would be somewhere over here. So let's say 14 is, 1400 is somewhere over here. This is the point of 1400. Let's say it's not given over here. I'm taking it at 1400. So if it is at 1400, aluminium is somewhere over here. And uh, zinc, zinc will be somewhere over here. If it goes like that, if it is going like that, I can extrapolate and like identify this so aluminium will anyway be lower than this aluminium can act as a reducing agent very right a reaction so the correct, correct statement regarding Ellingham diagram is D okay let's move on to the next question which of the following conditions for drinking water can cause methemoglobin methemoglobin which of the following, just a moment, which of the following conditions of drinking water can cause 
methemoglobinemia methemoglobinemia okay so that's a difficult word to pronounce and imagine how bad would this disease be so <clears throat> so the thing is what can cause this what can cause this now generally you are given such questions and it is important to remember certain values of ions which are present in solution uh, ions which are present in water okay so you can see that i have attached a slide where there are different concentration values which are given and when we can when we look at nitrate nitrate if it's 50 ppm it can cause blue baby syndrome okay so methemoglobinemia is a blue baby syndrome it will be caused by sulfate as well but sulfate concentration should be 500 ppm and above so the thing is in the previous question what we have over here is 50 ppm of lead 100 ppm of sulfate so sulfate and nitrate the competition is between sulfate and nitrate the right answer will be okay the right answer will be d the right answer will be d <clears throat> okay so let's move on a sample of water has a ppm level concentration of the following metals fe.2 fe.2 mn5 copper 3 zinc 5 the metal that makes water unsuitable for drinking unsuitable for drinking so if we go back to the previous slide and we can we look at the different concentration values which are present what you do is you paste this next to a study desk and look at it on a daily basis probably that will help you to remember these values so what we can see over here is zinc the maximum value can be 5 copper 3 mn.2 al.05 fe.2 let's look at the values which are given 0.25 copper 3 and zinc is 5 the right answer to the question guys will be the right answer to the question will be mn is 5 so okay mn has to be what value mn has to be the value of mn has to have a value of 0.2 so it is 5 obviously it will make water unfit for drinking let's move ahead the ore that will that contains both iron and copper both iron and copper very simple question the answer is copper pyrite cufes2 cufes2 malachite is malachite green it is basic copper carbonate cuco3.cuoh voltage dolomite what is dolomite dolomite is CaCO3 dot MgCO3 as you write is similar to malachite except for the fact that CuCO3 to CuCO3 okay so this is the answer to this question the Hall Herald process is given by J means question 2019 it's very simple question Hall Herald process given by Hall Herald process for extraction is utilized for aluminium the one which has aluminium is the right answer so the answer should be D the answer to this question would be D okay let's move ahead the metal that is used for making x-ray window is so it is not used for making x-ray window it is used for coating the window the reason which any element will be utilized for coating the window is that some elements have a very low tendency of absorbing x-rays and some <clears throat> so if the size of the atom is large size of the atom is large it will be able to absorb the x-ray and what we want is x-ray should pass through that window okay so this window is not to block x-rays it is L it is to pass it is to allow x-rays to pass through it so the one which is the smallest if the atomic size is less then the absorption is also less the answer to this question will be beryllium the answer to this question will be beryllium fine let's move ahead Taj Mahal has been slowly disfigured and discolored this is primarily due to very a lot of people know this it's because of the effluents or the exhaust that comes from the Mathura oil refinery and it is because of the acid rain which is happening over there so acid rain is the right answer so it has turned a little yellowish the white marble has become slightly yellowish so the answer is acid rain 
higher concentration of which gas in air can cause stiffness of flower buds this is a very very important question please do remember few things please do read ncert because ncert me environmental chemistry jitna diya gaya hai usse question aayega hi aayega okay so you can see that there are a number of questions asked almost every session me ek question diya ja raha hai so the right answer to this question is sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide causes stiffness of flower buds okay the right answer is sulfur dioxide the concentration of dissolved oxygen in water can go up to in water can go up to in cold water the dissolved oxygen amount is more in hot water or boiling water the dissolved oxygen concentration is less that is the reason uh, aquarium mein kabhi bhi aap garam pani nahi dalte hain kyunki usme dissolved oxygen content bahut kam rehta hai aapki machli mar jayegi okay so dissolved oxygen content in water can go as up as 10 ppm okay it will can go as up as 10 ppm next match the ores with metals in column b the ores are given and what we do is we again use the method of elimination we know that calamine is a ore of zinc and calamine is zn co3 so fourth should be uh, uh, connected with a so either this or this hona chahiye dono mein se koi ek option hona chahiye now let's take <clears throat> third malachite is copper malachite green copper so third should be b third is b the right answer should be c even if we do not know what is siderite which we do not know what is kaolinite it will not be it is not going to uh, like hinder us from getting a marks okay so elimination se hamesha match the following solve kijiye siderite is the ore of iron and kaolinite is a ore of aluminium it's actually silicate of aluminium theek okay? hai next peroxy acetyl nitrate pan is an eye irritant and it is produced during very very important a question delhi mein uh, ek point pe bahut zyada smog ho gaya tha and this is produced during photochemical smog photochemical smog is produced in the summer months classical smog is produced during winter months okay photochemical smog ko hum bolte hain oxidizing smog because it contains ozone mixed with oxidized species of hydrocarbons and classical smog is known as reducing smog because usme sulfur dioxide concentration zyada rehta hai sulfur dioxide would want to convert into sulfates and sulfur trioxide so it will try to it will try to reduce something by undergoing self oxidation okay so classical smog and photochemical smog they are important the answer for this will be photochemical smog the compound that is not a component of photochemical smog that is a very easy question to solve now in photochemical smog ozone will be a primary component as well as the oxidized products of hydrocarbons what would not be a oxidized product of hydrocarbon in all these sequence all these options given is option c c is cf2cl2 it is not a oxidized product of a hydrocarbon oxidized product means with oxygen answer should be c okay next the upper stratosphere consisting of the ozone layer protects us from the sun's radiation that fall in the wavelength region bahut simple question hai ozone layer hame bachata kisse hai ultraviolet region se ultraviolet rays se bachata hai and if you remember a hydrogen spectrum and if you remember a bit of atomic structure then 4000 to 7000 angstrom ke beech mein hamara vibrio series rehta hai violet to रेड का सीरीज रहता है सो एनी थिंग लेस देन फोर थाउजेंड विल बी इन द यू वी रीजन सो लेस देन फोर थाउजेंड विल बी इन यू वी रीजन द ओनली ऑप्शन टर्नस आउट टू बी डी द ओनली ऑप्शन विच कॉरेस्पॉन्ड्स टू द राइट आंसर इज डी यू डो नॉट हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस पार्ट ओके ये आप वॉट एवर यू लर्न एन एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर यूटिलाइजिंग दैट यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन Let's look at this question. The pair that does not require calcination. Calcination is the method of heating a ore in absence of air to convert it into an oxide. Now, 
if you see that there's a carbonate ore then carbonate ores are generally converted into the oxide forms by heating them in absence of air and carbon dioxide is given out also it is done for hydrated ores so as to remove the hydrated mol the water of hydration or water of crystallization so we have water to hatane ke liye ya fir carbon dioxide carbon dioxide ko nikalne ke liye कार्बोनेट को ऑक्साइड में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए कैल्सिनेशन को यूज करते हैं नाउ इन अ सिनेरियो वेयर वी हैव ओनली ऑक्साइड्स देन द पर्पस ऑफ कैल्सिनेशन इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सो व्हाट विल बी द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन कार्बोनेट इज प्रेजेंट ऑक्साइड इज प्रेजेंट दिस कैन नॉट बी एन आंसर ऑक्साइड ऑक्साइड फाइन दे कैन बी अ कंफ्यूजन बट दिस इज अ हाइड्रेटेड ओर नो कार्बोनेट ऑक्साइड नो द राइट आंसर इज ऑक्साइड एंड ऑक्साइड ए बिकॉज it is already in the form of oxide calcination is not required for this ore okay let's move on to the next question the molecule that has minimum or no role in the formation of photochemical smog you see that photochemical smog ke upar bahut almost three questions aa chuke hain abhi tak in january mains examination so it is important that smog photochemical or classical please do read it from ncert ncert is the guide book okay so photochemical uh, smog minimum or no role for a molecule the answer should be the answer see nox to present the no to present oxide oxides of nitrogen will be present ozone will be present oxidized form of some hydrocarbons will also be present what would not be present and what would not determine photochemical smogs formation is answer b n2 would not have any role in it okay in hall herold process aluminum is formed at the cathode the cathode is made out of the cathode is made out of carbon aluminum is a highly uh, <coughs> reactive substance we can call it an active metal and so reduction of any oxide of aluminum requires carbon reduction electrolytic redu electro uh, ek ek uh, tub rehta hai in which we we put graphite electrodes and so the answer to this is carbon none of the other ones will be the right answer next water samples with bod value bod is known as biological oxygen demand to for the marine life to thrive in water there should be a healthy concentration of oxygen but if you put a lot of sewage and a lot of effluents in water what will happen is they will take up a lot of oxygen from water for their oxidation leaving very little for the marine life to survive on so if you have a water sample and you check the dissolved oxygen content and the this is biological oxygen demand if demand is high that means the pollution level is also high this is different from dissolved oxygen do is different biological oxygen demand is different do should be high biological oxygen demand should be less okay demand zyada hai iska matlab ki pollution level zyada hai so <coughs> so pollution level zyada hum kaise identify karenge a good value of biological oxygen demand is between 3 to 5 ppm okay between 3 to 5 like 1 to 5 bhi agar aapka hai so that's a clean water but the moment it goes beyond 6 moment it goes beyond 6 that means it is polluted so 6 to 10 is moderately polluted and above 10 is highly polluted the right answer is c okay right answer is c next which of the following reactions is related to bessemerization of matte in bessemer converter in presence of air the matte is obtained during the extraction of copper and it contains cuprous oxide plus iron sulfide bhi usme rehta as a impurity now this iron sulfide is being is, is being oxidized to convert it into feo and feo is extracted as a slag by adding silica theek hai so you pass oxygen converts the impurity into oxide then you add sand to convert it into slag sulfide is converted into oxide so what is the right answer to the question is d all three processes can take place in bessemerization of matte in a bessemer converter 
Next question. The process of extraction of gold involves amalgamation, cyanide, both A and B, none of these. Now we know that MacArthur Forest Cyanide process is utilized for the extraction of gold. Amalgamation is also extract, utilized for extraction of gold and isko bohat, it is a very simple thing to know. Whenever tooth filling is done, we at times use a gold amalgam and <clears throat> that is what, so gold is extracted in form of amalgams as well. So amalgamation as well as cyanide process both are the right answer to this question. Next. The process which is not required for the extraction of copper from its non-sulfide ore. If a sulfide ore is present, one of the major critical ways of concentrating the ore is froth flotation. So if it is non-sulfide, then froth flotation to ho sakta hai. So this will not happen. And sulfide needs to be converted into its oxide. So we perform roasting. But if it is a non-sulfide ore, then roasting would also be absent. So roasting bhi nahi raega, to hamara answer kya ho jayega? 1 and 3. Okay, the answer should be 1 and 3. Next. Which salt can produce triatomic colored gas when reacts with dilute H2SO4? Now this is a very very beautiful question from salt analysis. Most of the students end up making a mistake, but this is how we can solve this. Now dilute H2SO4, remember this part that weak acids like H2CO3, H2S, H2, <coughs> H2S, um, HNO2, these substances would be extracted or acetic acid, these anions like acetate ion, NO2 minus ion and S2 minus CO3 2 minus ions, they are detected using dilute H2SO4. Concentrated H2SO4 kis ke liye use karte hai? Strong acid ke anions ke liye. Jaise ki bromide, iodide, chloride, nitrate, oxalate. In ke liye hum concentrated H2SO4 use karte hai. Toh humare paas kya hai? Dilute. Toh dilute ke liye humare paas kaun kaun se options a jayenge? Aur kaun sa nahi rahega? Nitrate will not be an answer to the question because nitrate anion is a conjugate base of a strong acid so that is not extracted using or that is not detected using dilute h2so4 kisko hum detect kar sakte carbonate sulfide and nitrite now carbonate will change into h2co3 which will change into h2o plus co2 okay <clears throat> sulfide will change into sulfur dioxide and nitrite NO2 minus will change into NO2 as the end result. Now, they are all of these are triatomic, or you can check all of these are triatomic gases. These are gases you will get. All of these are triatomic. But the question is something else. Question is which produces a triatomic colored gas. So, colored, these these are colorless. These are colorless. The colored one is only this. So the right answer to the question is KNO2. Okay, the right answer to the question is KNO2. Next, which salt produces white precipitate with AgNO3 solution becomes black on a standing? This question we have done in a previous session of inorganic chemistry, general inorganic chemistry. I told you that the salt which will be white and at a, uh, if you let it, if you heat it or if you treat it with water, it will change into black, will be thiosulfate. Ag2S2O3 will be white and if you let it stand, it will change into silver sulfide which will turn out to be black in color. Okay, the right answer to this question is B. Okay, a metal salt produces white precipitate with BaCl2 solution but does not produce any precipitate when it reacts with mixture of BaCl2 and dilute HCl. So it means whatever was producing precipitate with BaCl2 undergoes dissolution in dilute HCl. Okay, so it means that the second line ka jo meaning hai, ye hai ki BaCl2 के साथ reaction हो रही है, but dilute HCl के साथ जब reaction हो के खत्म होगी, then 
the entity which is where is produced will dissolve so the right answer to this question is that the confusion could be between c and d nitrate or sulfide hota nahi hai confusion could be between sulfate and carbonate but if you do remember then sulfate will react with bacl2 it will produce baso4 which is white and if you treat it with dilute hcl if you treat it with dilute hcl then no dissolution but if you if there is carbonate and you react with bacl2 it will produce a white precipitate of barium carbonate and dilute hcl ke saath ye dissolve kar jayega it dissolves to form barium chloride h2o and co2 so the right answer to the question is not this the right answer is this is important is for sulfate sulfate and carbonate ko distinguish isi tarah se kiya jata hai ye salt contains a sulfate or a carbonate you add bacl2 it will produce a white precipitate and then you add hcl if you add hcl and it does not dissolve that means sulfate is present if it dissolves that means carbonate is it, it means carbonate is present okay so last question for today is this the 3b group cations are precipitated by dilute hcl and h2s because the reason are not sorry are not precipitated by dilute hcl and h2s because now if i take a 3b cation let's say this is sulfide ke form of precipitate hum kisko karte hain group 2a 2b and 3b ko karte hain okay now if this is from 2a or 2b and b plus is from 3b and i have to convert it into a sulfide i have to convert it into a sulfide then h2s which is a weakly dissociating substance h2s which is a weakly dissociating substance should produce enough sulfide ions to precipitate these two species इनको प्रिस्पेट करने के लिए सल्फाइड आयंस मुझे चाहिए बट अगर हमारे पास हमने इसमें H+ डाल दिया तो सल्फाइड आयन का कंसेंट्रेशन क्या होगा इफ यू रिमेम्बर कॉमन आयन इफेक्ट देन H+ प्लस फ्रॉम एच सी एल फंक्शन एज अ कॉमन आय एंड विल रिड्यूस द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ सल्फाइड एंड द इक्विलिब्रियम विल गो बैक सो सल्फाइड विल नॉट बी प्रिस्पिटेटेड सल्फाइड कंसेंट्रेशन विल डिक्रीज एंड लेस अमाउंट ऑफ सल्फाइड कंसेंट्रेशन विल बी required for those ions less <coughs> concentration is required for those ions jinka solubility product sulfide ke liye bahut kam hai pura salt analysis solubility product ka khel hai lekin jab hum basic medium lete hain group 3 b ko precipitate karne ke liye we take a basic medium in which sulfide is added so when we take a basic medium this h plus is removed and sulfide and concentration increases so more sulfide is required for precipitation of group 3 b cations because their solubility product of sulfide will be higher so ksp of 3 b group cations is high the right answer is c okay so with this we conclude the session of salt analysis metallurgy and environmental chemistry and i hope you have enjoyed today's session please do solve as many questions from environmental chemistry as possible and from salt analysis and from metallurgy because these sare questions uh in say questions hamesha aa rahe hain and th these chapters are easy to understand facts hain facts ko cross referencing ke tarah se you can solve it okay so if you have liked the video please do like share and subscribe and please do join me in the next session which will be on uh <clears throat> surface chemistry and electrochemistry i uh, like i tell you that in since it's a physical chemistry topic i'd not be able to take these many number of questions so but we'll try to solve as many critical concept questions as possible uh, but i hope uh, you you join us um, for physical chemistry organic chemistry sessions which come up which will be coming up in the future so this is sort of the summary signing off and i wish you a lovely day ahead bye bye guys